All right, it's time for our top photos, some of them making news today. Number three, Amsterdam is working with a Dutch robot company called MX3D and engineering software company Autodesk to create a 3D printed bridge over a canal there. Oh. City officials have not said where the bridge will be, but it's likely going to be about 24 feet in length. MX3D describes the process as drawing in mid-air. The process could make bridge building safer, faster and cheaper. It's expected to take two months to complete and should be in place by 2017. Can you walk on it? Vani, sometimes yeah. we look at a, at, a, at a photo and I just think the world is amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. I presume you can walk on it. I mean, that, right. I mean, generally, the idea of a bridge in Amsterdam is that it allows you, you to walk over, over the, the canal. Yeah. That's sort of, oh, right, that's sort of definitional for a bridge that it is walkable. Unless well, it's art. I'm going to go behind you guys. That's yeah. all I'm saying. All right. Number two, this pink gelatinous creature was just discovered, and it's still unnamed, but his founder, Stephanie Bush of the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, has a few ideas for classifying and naming him. She's thinking a pistoth... Oh, Pistatuthis. Pistatuthis. Adorable. Adorable. Yeah. <laughs> because he's just so cute. This adorable creature lives in depths of the sea around 1,476 feet below the surface mm -hmm. and has a tiny body of only seven inches in diameter. I think Droidberg from Futurama is First rule of TV yeah, news absolutely. is, uh, you know, put on pictures of cute dogs and people will watch. This is the surveillance version yeah, of Yeah, this, uh, this, is, this is charismatic microfauna instead of charismatic megafauna. But basically, that's, that's, that's how you save the world, is you show them pictures of the amazing, beautiful things that are in it. I think it's only a matter of time before that is a mascot somewhere in the UCAL system. Uh, <laughs> it's the eye that makes it Along with it's fighting it's so slugs. So cute. Yeah. Anthropomorphic. Number one, Utah Valley University is taking its texting problem seriously. The university has divided a campus staircase into three lanes, walk, run, and text, all in an effort to stop traffic jams caused by slow-moving texting students. The university seems to have made one mistake. There's no lane to come down the stairs. So can I we get that in New York on the sidewalks? I, f I you know, but maybe there should be a meander lane. Yeah. I find that only in Manhattan, when I am in Manhattan, in this borough, I get really tense and I, I cannot <laughs> stand meanders. We just need to put mirrors on the ground, right, Luigi? <laughs> All right. <Yes. laughs>